Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we'll go through the question letter case permutation. Given a string s, we can transform every letter individually to be lowercase or uppercase to create another string. Return a list of all possible strings we could create. You can return the output in any order. So in this example one, you can see we have two characters in the string and we have both the permutations for both the characters. So we can get four permutations that is two raised to two. Now in the second example, you can see we have an input which has one character and it can only have two permutations. In the example three, every character present in the input is a digit. And so the only permutation we can have is all the digits exactly in the same order. Similar with example four. In the constraints, we are given that S will be a string with length between 1 to 12 and it will only contain letters or digits. So now there are many approaches you can solve this question. One is by using a recursive method, one is by using an iterative method and even bit manipulation. But in this video, we'll just see the iterative method. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve this question. Considering this string as an array, Let's start with the first character. We can have either a small case A or a uppercase A. And then we take these two combinations and move ahead with our second character in the string. So till this point, this character over here is fixed. So this becomes our left, this becomes our right, and this is the character we are working on. And since this is a digit, we cannot do anything, but we can just keep the characters as it is and move ahead for the other character. So here we have a character and so we can have both the combinations lowercase and uppercase for this character. So this one string can be written into two ways. This one string can be written into two ways by using both these characters. Now again we move ahead by making this as fixed. And so over here when we see this two is now a digit. So we cannot do anything but we just need to return this four characters because there is no other character left in the string for us. So this is the graphical representation of what we would be doing or what can be done for this question. So here one thing to note is that every time whenever we are looking for a character, a left part is there and a right part is there. And left part is generally a fixed part while right part is the one where we'll be moving. And we are currently checking for the character in the middle. So now let's go ahead and see the programmatical way of doing it. So we'll take a queue or a linked list in our case and we'll try to solve this question in an iterative manner. So this is our original string and I have added that string in the queue or a linked list. And I am starting from behind rather than starting from the start. Over here, I see that this is not a character, so I do not have to do anything, but move to the next character. Now, this is a character and I can have two permutations for this character. So what I do is I pop the string and I take the two combinations for that particular string and I'll add it in the queue. So this is what we'll do for a character. Now we shift to our left. And now since this is not a character, we do not do anything but move ahead. So once we reach this A, we can say that this is a character. And so here we need to perform a permutation for each and every value that is present in our linked list and perform the character casing permutation on the current character, which is A in our case. So now how this character casing looks, it would look something like this. We'll take both the inputs and we'll do a lowercase a, uppercase a, lowercase a and uppercase a for both of them. And now again, we'll put that in our queue. Since this was the last character over here, so we do not need to move any further and this becomes our result. So this is what the iterative approach would look like when you do it. You can easily change this code for a recursive one, which would be a DFS solution. And this would be a BFS solution that we have worked on. So now let's go ahead and code the iterative solution. So the first thing that we are going to do here is take a linked list. This will act as our queue for BFS and also act as a result that we would be returning. After that, we'll just take length as handy. And after that, we need to iterate over all the characters in the string. 
so over here we are iterating from the last character and going towards the first character as we saw in our example so for that we also need to add our string in the linked list as a preparatory task now let's take the character handy and this character would be the last character or the character from the string after this we'll first check whether this is a digit or a character because if it is a digit we do not need to do anything if this is a letter we need to iterate over all the strings that are present in our linked list and add the permutation for the current character so in the linked list we have these many strings that are present and for creating the permutations we would do a while loop and permutate on all the strings that are present in the result over here the first thing that we always do in bfs is pop an element so that would be pulling from the result and now we need the left and right part for the string that are static and just change the current character so let's take left equal to substring of the current string that we have found out for which characters for 0 to i and my right would be i plus 1 to n now one i need to add with a lower case one i need to add with a upper case for these particular left and right so we will add in result left plus lower case of c plus right and similarly for upper case so that's it now this for loop will take care of creating all the permutations for us in the linked list and at the end we can just return the result hopefully there are no errors let's try to run this and it's running fine let's submit this code and it got submitted the time complexity for this particular approach would be the number of permutations that we can have and that number of permutations would be 2 raised to the number of characters that are present in the string the space complexity if you are considering the result would be n into 2 raised to n to store 2 raised to n permutations for the n length string so that's it for today guys i leave the recursion solution up to you you can make some modification and let me know that how you have written your recursion solution i hope you like the video and i'll see you in the next one till then keep learning keep coding